Pisces, it just keeps getting weirder. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're gonna do the full, full oracle card spread here. And then of course there's a link to an extended full tarot card spread in the extended video. Uh, that link is in the comment section as well as the description uh, box below. So you can access it, sex it on mobile. Um, let's get right into the reading. This is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Wherever Piscean energy influences your natal chart, you can apply this energy because this is basically an energy reading. You know, um, if you're wondering why it's so general, because this is the energy. This is the oracle reading. It's the energy reading. If you want the more in-depth specific, specific reading, that's the extended reading. Um, believe me, there's lots to gain and lots of insight that comes from these two. What are you doing? You're doing like cartwheels. Crowding your energy is you. <laughs> what? Damn, Pisces. You all kind of renegade this week. Not really renegade. It's like you're all about it. You're like, I'm about myself. That's what I'm about. Fifth, uh, 53, the energy of eight, destiny. Ooh, I could feel this, Pisces. I, I'm not kidding you. Before I even started your reading, I knew this was going to be a breakthrough week for you. And I really feel like there is something coming to you, like a breakthrough. Bam, pow, explosion. This is a beautiful week for you. Let me tell you why. Energetically, this Mercury going into your sign, going into Pisces, is gonna it's gonna stir up a lot of things that maybe you'd forgotten, and maybe a lot of people that have forgotten you. But definitely, you are your patience is paying off. Your diligence is paying off. Mm, you're in it to win it. It's all about you. This is your card. This is your energy, and I feel like it is that energy of having waited having gathered, having absorbed, all of those things that you have absorbed over the years are actually going to really come to fruition this week. I don't know if it's gonna come out in an explosion of creativity. You're gonna just gonna be like more creative than you ever have been at just the right time and just the right place. Sort of this energy of something that has been waiting, something that has been, or something that you have waited for. It's coming. This is a breakthrough week for you. When you crown your own energy, you're in sync. This is good stuff. Yeah, see this is all coming out. Aries energy, we have use your mind wisely when pigs fly, something that is so awkward and weird that it just can't help but work. The discovery of your wonderment of something that was hidden, an opportunity that had been passed over or passed by. Um, maybe something that you had been waiting to come in for a while that's gonna make you feel really, really good. An energy of the impractical happening or basically being able to be impractical out loud. Use your mind wisely. I don't think you're using your mind wisely. I think you're using your mind aggressively. I think you're using your mind creatively. This is creative and passion. passion. Look at all this. It's creeping out the back. Pisces, what are you up to? Um, I'm not taking all this energy. That's too much. Like, that's... What did I tell you? This was going to be a big fucking week for you. That's... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? This was going to be a big week for you. I told you. Hold on a second. Uh, now is a lucky time inverted. So, it's lucky for you, but not lucky for others. This is a sense of making your own luck of something coming to fruition and abundance that only you could basically twist into good luck. Uh, freedom is yours. Yeah, leaving all those obligations or things that cluttered your life behind and basically almost maybe even like peeling away in the middle of the night, like not even asking people's permission, just taking, taking, taking your chances. Mm. Nothing is wasted. Some sort of energy about the past about everything that happened in your past or your past life or things that things that you have burned down, things that you have hurt you, things that you've lost, all now becoming what gives you your voice and gives you your strength. I'm telling you right now, this is almost like you're in the middle of a creative project. You're able to take the pain from the past and use it, just 
paint it or write about it or perform it or or like just put it into your work or discover the fucking cure for cancer because of some insight that you gained from something that had happened to you or something that you'd seen in the past could have something to do with a twisted messed up childhood or childhood issues that you'd gone through that you were trying to work through trying to figure out um things that had been suppressed and hidden and um not talked about basically being able to gain some sort of freedom from those energies by basically spewing them out using them to your advantage yes i'm dead serious overcome any obstacle you're going to get through this this is grounding energy change this is strength this is courage this is progress making progress where you normally couldn't it's really it's really an interesting energy pisces because you don't move the way everybody else moves you move through dreams you move through creating reality you don't try to move through reality you don't move forward you don't move up down backwards you move you don't you move by creating reality that's how you move and it's really working in your favor this week and all of those things that you've experienced are going into something that you are creating a reality that you're creating and the change is coming there's a the, the change is in the breakthrough that's where the change is that it's actually finally enabling you to break through and break free freedom is yours 33 this is adds up to six which always reminds me of the lovers and the tarot cards some sort of destiny some sort of breaking free from a relationship maybe that confined you or restricted you or you you like it's like you finally have accepted the truth about it yeah it was a stupid decision i get it it was but it was exciting and it was hot and the sex was good but the bottom line is i don't know maybe you guys had trouble having children with each other or um maybe you do have children with each other you're gonna have to decide to do with the kids but there's this, uh, definitely this energy of uh, maybe from a scorpio something like time that you spent together this energy of the two of you just um, almost being afraid to let it go because you'd invested so much in it, but no, now it's over with. You realize that there, it, that it, it's coming to a head, it's coming to a realization, it's coming to a completion. This change is coming, a huge change in the relationship between the two of you, but you absolutely feeling completely and totally liberated and free and justified by all the decisions that you made. This was a, this is a very like erotic energy. It's very, it's very sensual. It's very sexual. There could have been a lot of great sexual chemistry, a lot of great physical physicality, especially with Aries here, but it's almost like war horse, man. You're just breaking through that. Now you're moving on. It's like, it's just another touch area. It's not another touch, touch, um, it's another another uh, touch point, another benchmark that you're you're able to um, move through, and you're not even worried about it. You found a way to use it. That's what I feel like. You found a way to use this energy. You found a way to use these this mishap, these this like maybe some bad <laughs> some bad choices. You found a way to use your bad choices to your advantage. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but it's got to do with creativity. Oh, there is always enough. You're sh this is another one of your cards showing up. You've got this. And you know why you've got this? Because of everything that you've been through. This is your memory. Swimming in your memories. Swimming in your existence. Swimming in your past life experiences. And it's interesting that this card is front, front and center in your reading. Giving you stability. Why? Because Mars is now in Capricorn while Mercury is moving through uh, in retrograde through Pisces. There's just this energy of... Aries is a sign right after you. Aries is the new beginning. Aries is the start over. Aries is the new baby, the baby of the Zodiac. And you are the great, 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 great grandfather, all signs of the Zodiac. Like you're the heaviness, you're the memory, you're the water, but you're actually finding, it's almost like, it's almost like you're taking all the colors of your life and combining them to be pure white light and starting fresh, if that makes any sense. Um, Oh, I love this energy. Take time out. Defending yourself or the universe coming in and defending yourself, being very protective of what you earn, basically knowing your worth and standing in your power and sticking up for yourself and not letting anybody get into your way. I feel like you've been given a lot of SHIT lately. A lot of people have been getting on you, trying to muddy your waters. And you're just like, you know what, y'all? I'm done. Leave it behind. And you're, it's almost like you're showing them. You're showing them who you are. You're taking away their ammunition by putting yourself full 
on display and using everything that you've been through in a way that actually helps you instead of hurts you. And that's why you're, you're like literally disarming them. You're disarming them with all that you know. And you know what? You know a lot about them too. And maybe that's what you're flinging back. You're like, really? You're flinging at me? Mm, not a good idea. Who's the one you always come talk to? Mm, me. You don't think I listen? Oh, I listen. I got all that right here. You want me to remind you? You want to, you want, like, it's almost like this energy of, you want to get on me? <laughs> Girl, I was there with you at 3 a.m. I know what you did. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's not like you're, it's not like you're being, it's not like you're being malicious on purpose. It's almost like, hey, listen, I, you're using this, you're using it as like a way to disarm, not to fire back, but disarm. There's like, like, remember, do not throw the first stone because I've got much more of a, I'm the ocean, honey. Okay. I've got much more stones that I can churn up than you could ever dream of. Okay. Mount Everest don't got nothing on me. Okay. Mount Everest fits in Challenger Deep. Please don't try to challenge me, honey, please. Sit, just sit back. Like you're using your emotions and you're using your experiences and all that you've absorbed as a means of empowerment this week. And I love it. Be here now in the present moment. There is nothing here. This is creative energy. This is the energy of seven. I'm telling you, this is going to be a beautiful week for you. If you have been like stuck in writer's block and it's been hard for you to uh, it's going to be free flowing. Like every, it's almost like the energy is going to be coming out so fast. It's going to be hard to write down, but you are really literally liberated from something that has been holding you back. And I think that it may be guilt, maybe shame, maybe other people's accusations of you, maybe things that people were talking about or, you know, it's almost like, okay, I acknowledge I was stupid. Like, like, but you're getting over it. You're getting through it. You're like, you know, it doesn't matter because look at like, it doesn't matter because you know what matters? My, this, this current moment is all that matters. This present moment. This is love, harmony, balance, peace. This is the energy of Libra. So understanding everything being that gray zone of finding that middle ground of finding that like even keel energy about yourself. And maybe it's, it's almost like self love, finding the beauty in life again. You know, there's a mysticism around the hummingbird. There's a transcendence around the hummingbird. There's just this ethereal beauty, finding something to inspire you. You're inspired this week. That's what it is. Oh my God, Pisces breakthrough and inspiration. That's what this week is all about for you. Literally just ripping down those walls and not taking any doo-doo, okay? Not taking any doo-doo being thrown at you. This really beautiful harmony of the sea, the earth, and the air all coming together and the fire is present too. It's like you are all the elements. You're the oldest sign in the zodiac and it's almost like you remember. You are not just the water sign. You are the avatar, okay? You have, you can, you can bend air, wield flame and thunder. Like you ever watch that show? That's one of my favorite shows ever. Like you can, you, you own all of the elements. You have access to them all. Why? Because you remember them all. You remember how to like, like harness them all. And that's what this, this week is about for you. It's about harnessing the energy of all of your past lives and all of your experiences. And, 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 and that being the fuel that rumbles, that rumbles you forward and that makes you progress maybe in ways that other people cannot progress, right? Because like, they're not used to this heaviness. They're not used to being stuck down here. You are, you could stay down here. You can breathe underwater. It's not going to bring you down there you're good and it is it is your ability to swim in your emotions is your best defense and it is your liberation it is what's definitely it's 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 what's helping you sort of live in this beautiful space right now i'm telling you this is a good good week for you hold on pisces i almost want to laugh because this is a good good week for you <laughs> it's like everybody else everybody else is like there's stuff that's hidden they don't know how to deal with it there's like there's almost like almost like espionage going on people are trying to find shit like people are trying to figure stuff out and pisces you're not going through that at all like you're you're you are in a really hold on i gotta get a drink of water hold on 
you are coasting along. I'm really interested. I want to keep I want to keep shuffling these cards because I feel like there's more of a message that wants to come out for you. Sometimes life stings. This is sort of the this is the opinion of others. This is the gadfly. This is sort of what has been egging you on and forcing you forward and pushing you, even though it may hurt. But this is dealing with those wounds and sort of confronting those messages and confronting those stings. Once again, also scorpionic energy. I don't know if some if you're going through something with a Scorpio, but look at 64 and 46, the opposite of each other. So basically, basically like reflections of each other, calling somebody out. Out, speaking but sort of transcend transcending your experiences rising from the ashes and then spotlighting something but this is something nagging you something egging you on either way it's pushing things to a completion it's just about done I don't know if you're in a relationship with a Scorpio that's sort of ending or or um if it has nothing to do with the Scorpio, it's just Scorpionic energy, basically transcending oneself and finding that divine inspiration in the deepest depths of your pain, which is what actually liberates you from the pain. It's almost like what I say, you're taking over your own pain and using it to, in this beautiful way, an explosion, absolute explosion of creativity. Ooh, Pisces. Interesting. I don't know if you have dogs in your life, but there's definitely this energy. Once again, the energy of 10. Something has completed. A cycle has come to an end. Maybe a cycle of a long-term relationship has come to an end and you're actually happy about it. There's, it's been, there's been irritations. Uh, something had been nagging you or getting on your nerves. Maybe even but like I said, stones being thrown at you. Um, and it's almost like it's coming to an end. It's coming to a head. But it's coming to a conclusion in a way that is really nice for you. You're happy about it. Um, either that or it's not a relationship. It's just generally something that you had held on to for a really long time. Something that almost you saw as a part of you. Look at this. This is Gemini energy ruled by Mercury, but it's moving forward. Life is speeding up. You're picking up. It's picking up the pace. Some sort of energy of is just moving forward, um, really getting through a uh, duality here. This is why it's Gemini energy. The duality, finding a uniqueness, no, finding a oneness, finding a completion. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some of you are having uh, relationships that are moving forward, but I honestly don't feel that way. I honestly feel like... There's this energy of, of, of combining the two parts of yourself being combined and finding that connectivity of two becoming one. Um, Gemini. What I think this is really that the, whatever Mercury's doing, it's actually working for you. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's actually going to help, like I said, propel you forward. Like this propeller on his, the, the horns on his head are like a propeller. It's propelling him forward. Life is picking up for you. Plant those seeds for the future. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Mmm. Mmm. Virgo energy, Virgo and Gemini energy sitting here. Uh, both planets ruled by Mercury. And I think that it's going to be, that this is, this is, this is energy that is helping you move into the future. Planting some sort of seeds, picking up, I am telling you, you're going to get job offers this week. People are going to be noticing you this week. This is an energy of, um, the beginning of dreams coming true. And maybe that's the, essentially what this is, right? Is like the world of dreams is now consuming everybody. You know, it's, it's all coming back and you, you are the master of this. You have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Let's go into tarot. I hope you guys join me. We'll go into tarot over in the extended and also do the romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.